Hey guys, what's going on Desire from Desire HD and today I thought I'd bring you another Stardew Valley video and this time it is a tour around my farm. Now it's currently year 3 um, in s summer, maybe summer, day 7, something like that. Um, definitely year 3, try the spring or summer and I just wanted to give you a quick tour of my house, my farm, show you how I make my money. Um, and yeah, just maybe some people can pick up some tips and stuff. You know, I got a lot of my decorating tips for the house from Google Pictures and the designs for my farm from Google Pictures and just change things that I thought would look a bit cool. So I just wanted to I would walk around and, and show you around. So basically, this is my uh, wife's room, Emily. But I'm currently about to divorce her because I'm having an affair with Abigail. Uh, but this is currently where she stays until she gets kicked out on her ass. Um, yeah, and this is my bedroom. I've got a nice little seating area down here. Some bookshelves where I can just chill out. Them. There's Emily. She might have heard me. Hi, babe. Oh, it never is. Right, the reason I'm divorcing her, guys, is because she keeps saying she talks to plants, and that's a bit weird. But Abigail eats rocks, so I suppose eh, it is what it is. Okay. Um, so through here is my little dining area. This is where me and Emily sit. Um, we're raising a family now, we've got a kid, oh there she is, oh she's quick, um, so we sort of sometimes sit at the big table now, and uh, this is my uh, stuff to do the decorating, a little bench if I wanted to sit down, up here I've got my living room where we sit down and watch TV, and um, this is the kids' room, I haven't really decorated this yet because uh, she keeps asking me to try for another one, but because of my affair with Abigail, I'm not too sure I want to do that, this is my kitchen, big dining room table, uh, fully upgraded house and then of course downstairs is my cellar which is loaded up with kegs and casks doing my ancient fruit wine to iridium quality and making me lots of money I think why me let me just check how many ancient fruits I've got left for 18 uh, I've been to my greenhouse for a couple of days so I'll just check on that okay so now on to my farm so if I leave my house directly in front of me this is all my plots for my uh, my vegetables and my flowers and stuff like that. I don't really need to grow these anymore um, Because I make a lot more money elsewhere. So if we go across the top Okay, so this is this is this is my horse All Right, we go into my shed. This is where I used to keep all my kegs before I got the cellar uh, I've got some preserved jars and some furnaces, but I haven't really done anything interior wise to my sheds I've got some um, of the whatever these things are called I forget uh, to get my power packs when it's lightning and in here I chose for some reason mushrooms yeah don't even collect them anymore I wish I chose the fruit uh, and if I do another save I will go with the fruit uh, I think it's better profit uh, especially once you start getting seed makers and things like that you can make a bit more money with it so I'll probably do that next time so this is my greenhouse and it's totally loaded with ancient fruit which I need to pick uh, ready for my next harvest of ancient fruit wine because that that's the biggest money thing um, these are all my chickens I don't really repair these fences Emily usually does that um, and I don't even really pick these eggs up anymore or mayonnaise it's just there's no point it doesn't make me enough profit uh, per day over the course of it. I mean I could do it's just extra money but it just doesn't really it's not good enough for me I've got the three silos here uh, that are nearly full I've just filled them up a couple of days ago and of course I've got four lit candles from Grandpa's Shrine uh, which allowed me to get the Statue of Perfection I think it's called the one that gives me Iridium ore every day so if we go down here I've got all my fruit trees for the different seasons uh, I'm guessing it's spring I think I think that means it's spring okay uh, all the fruit uh, honey surrounded by some flowers I've got my mill which I never once used these are my trees for I need to put some tapas on some of these I still haven't done that uh, for my syrup and uh, my oak resin and things like that and this is my slime factory again something I've not used yet this is quite a new addition to my farm uh, so I haven't even put an incubator or anything in there I've got a slime egg um, in my chest but I've not done it yet um, oh my boy must have loaded these back up with bait two broken CDs you get so much crap in, in these I need to make some more crab pots maybe and put them around uh, this shed is completely empty this is what I was going to move all my kegs to before I decided to put them in the cellar with my with my casks 
Now this is another big money part that I've just started working on and this actually makes me an absolute ton of money. My pigs are not happy. I'm not sure why, let me just check this. They're being fed. They get petted constantly. They're looking a little thin. Ah, that's because I filled it up and they wasn't fed for a bit. So when these are happy, because all my animals are usually five hearts, they dig up a lot of truffles. Uh, and truffles are good money anyway, but because I've literally, I've, I've got rid of all my goats and my cows, and I literally just got all pigs down here, for the simple fact is the amount of truffles these bring up a day when they're happy is insane. Um, and then what I do is I need to make some more of these, is I turn it all into truffle oil. And truffle oil sells for quite a bit of money. Uh, look how many truffles I've got in there to turn to truffle oil. <laughs> you know what I mean? It sells for quite a bit of money, uh, which then allows uh, turns over good profit per day. So why I'm waiting for the full season to go by in my ancient fruit wine to finish mulling over and become an iridium quality, I just use the truffle oil as my main money maker. Every now and again, I do fill up these patches with some sort of flowers or vegetables just to make it look a bit pretty, uh, but there's no point doing it too often because it just doesn't i mean i make about eighty thousand off uh, a full batch of cauliflower or a full batch as is amethyte like you know that purple cabbage stuff amethyte amethyte something like that i make about 80k um where is with my ancient fruit wine i earn about 800k a season so i just concentrate on that and then do why i'm waiting for that to turn iridium I will go mining and things like that. So, you know, oh, that's why I've got no truffles down. I've already picked them up. So let me just stick that in there. You know what? I'm not even going to bother turning none of this over. You know, that can unload, that can go. I've got so much iridium. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, I keep all my chests out here. But not for, I'm not a very organised person when it comes to this. There's my slime egg. Um, and yeah, so I've just got things all over my chests. Anyway guys, that was just a quick tour of my farm in year 3 of spring, I believe. Uh, if you guys have any questions or any, if you want any hints and tips on how um, I built this or how I do the ancient brute wine technique and things like that, just let me know in the comments below. I try to answer every single comment that I get. Um, so yeah guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Ciao.